Hi everyone, this is the Santorini Dave Guide to Where to Stay in Fira, on the cliff side of the caldera in the center of Santorini. Panoramic views from here are spectacular, stretching from the lighthouse at Akrotiri in the south, all the way to the tip of Ia at the north end of the island. This sweeping vista includes great views of the island of Nea Kameni, the new volcano, with the old volcano Palia Kameni directly behind, and the charming Therasia Island beyond that. Fira is the capital and commercial hub of the island, with picturesque narrow alleys filled with clothing and gift shops, cafes, restaurants, galleries, bars, and clubs. It's Santorini's center of nightlife and the municipal hub, where you'll find the police station, hospital, post office, banks, and other government functions. There are so many great cafes and restaurants with absolutely fabulous caldera views to enjoy at any time of day. It's a great town to wander, getting lost in the narrow lanes, shopping for souvenirs or high-end fashions and jewelry. Inland from the caldera, you'll find more affordable dining and shopping. Just a few blocks from the main square is a busy pedestrian-only area lined with unlimited food options. Along the main streets of town, you'll find smaller markets and convenience stores, travel agencies, and other services. Before we take a deeper look at Fira, know that you can find lots more detailed information about Santorini at santorinidave.com and subscribe to this channel to follow our other helpful Greek travel videos. Fira is also where the cruise ships arrive and is therefore particularly jam-packed pre-sunset during the high season. To avoid the crowds, you may want to stay elsewhere on the island. Cruise ship passengers are tendered ashore at the old port below Fira, which isn't really worth a visit otherwise. These passengers get up and down into town, primarily on the cable car, though some walk the steep zigzag path or ride the donkeys, which we strongly discourage. One of the best things to do during a visit to Santorini, and our number one most recommended activity overall, is to hike the Fira to Ia Trail, which either begins or ends in Fira, depending on the direction that you choose to walk. Fira is full of amazing hotels. Here are some of our favorites. Athena Luxury Suites is a sensational boutique hotel that is both family-friendly and extremely romantic, with fabulous views and a terrific restaurant. Cosmopolitan Suites is a small upscale hotel right in the center of Fira, with one of Santorini's best pools, an outstanding restaurant, and great caldera views. Katikeis Garden is the only five-star hotel in Fira and is set in a beautifully restored historic Catholic monastery where many of the spacious suites have sunrise views. And Aria Suites is the best luxury hotel for families in Fira, with spacious suites and villas and a large pool close to the center of town. Fira is also home to many wonderful dining options where it's a good idea to make dinner reservations in advance to secure a table without a long wait. Here are some of our favorite restaurants. Argo serves modern Greek with a trendy vibe. Though not the most majestic caldera views in Fira, the food is great and the ambiance is festive. Ozeri is a spacious restaurant with traditional Greek food and a relaxed and casual atmosphere with views toward the Aegean Sea, not the caldera. Caccio e Pepe has the best Italian food on Santorini with authentic cuisine based on original recipes with fresh handmade pizzas and pastas. Celine is the fanciest restaurant in Santorini, housed in a former monastery that is now home to Katikia's Garden Hotel. Expect an exquisite gastronomical experience with prices to match. And Panayiri Festival Foods, along the busy main road in Fira, serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a beautiful garden patio with funky decor and a lively bar with live music during the evenings. Fira is home to two great museums, the Museum of Prehistoric Thera, featuring art, artifacts, and jewelry from the main villages of Akrotiri in Santorini, and Crete, and the Archaeological Museum of Thera, which is small but has an impressive collection of artifacts excavated from the island's rich history. If you don't plan on renting a car, Fira is the best village to stay in. Fira is Santorini's main transportation hub with a large bus station behind the landmark Metropolitan Orthodox Cathedral. There are frequent public buses that are comfortable and cheap, but can be crowded, which connect Fira to Ia and the rest of the island's villages, beaches, attractions, and historic sites. This is one advantage of staying in Fira. 
As always, you can find lots more detailed information about everything Santorini and the rest of Greece's most popular destinations across the pages of our website, SantoriniDave.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it with a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel as we're constantly adding new content that will help you in planning your visit to Greece and beyond. Thanks for watching.